Good Tuesday morning. Tracking potential tropical cyclone number six right now, dumping heavy rain and gusty winds across portions of the Lesser Antilles, moving into the northeastern Caribbean, and expected to become a tropical storm Fred later today. Here's the 5 a.m. advisory if you're just waking up and joining us. It is moving west northwest at 17 miles an hour, max sustained winds of 35 miles an hour, and tropical storm watches continue for much of the Leeward Islands. Tropical storm warnings in place for the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, as well as parts of Dominican Republic, and then Northern Dominican Republic, Haiti under tropical storm watches, as well as the Southeast Bahamas. And the system is expected to continue moving generally towards the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, where tropical storm conditions are likely. And you'll notice that by the areas shaded in yellow, as well as Dominican Republic heading into tomorrow and parts of Haiti, and then the Southeast Bahamas going into late Wednesday into early Thursday morning, and then by Friday it could be moving near or over parts of Cuba and yes uh, there is a possibility that it may be headed in our general direction as we head into late Friday into Saturday although there is a lot of uncertainty as to what happens here in this time frame late Friday and into the weekend but for now anytime we have anything pointed in our general direction we will certainly be vigilant and we should already be prepared and have a plan in place as we're in the peak of the season so here's the deal as of right now there is a little bit of dryer that's wrapping around this disturbance, but later on, environmental conditions will become more conducive for development. And you'll notice then we see a whole lot of green, a deep tropical moisture that will allow it to either maintain tropical storm status or it could weaken, depending on whether or not it interacts with the islands here. And also, there's an upper level low that could be disruptive, could slow it down. So there are a lot of different factors that are going to come into play. And this is the reason why it's still too soon to say what, if any, impacts we'll, we'll see here in South Florida late week.